I'm in a rush in the morning. I want marmalade on toast. I need a drink. What do I do? I know what I do. I'll put it all in a glass and drink it. Welcome to So Social. This week we're off to meet Rich Woods, aka that cocktail guy. So Rich, what are you going to show us today? Urban Decay Cocktail. Right, so we've got a, we have a menu, it's, we've had it for a little while now. It's a theme that we brought back due to popularity, but also I think its popularity in part was due to the fact that it has a, 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 a not so much a hidden message, but it has okay. a message behind it. Yeah. Uh, and that is, you know, be more conscientious with, with your drinking and what you're making, what you're using and what you're throwing away. So the first thing we're going to do is um, one of my favourites. It's just a very simple gin and tonic, but with a really nice fresh vegetal take. We've taken a distillation, so I've taken the tomato tomato vines, made a very rich concentrate of the vines and right. then infused it into the gin. Wow, it really, it really does just smell of tomato, like tomatoes, as you said with uh, your greenhouse. good, I'm yeah. hoping, I was hoping it would. Uh, we're just going to add a small splash of, uh, of sugar syrup. Now, not normally an ingredient you'd add in a gin and tonic, uh, but this just simply uh, lifts the flavour and obviously uh, you know, no one cocktail will be complete without its garnish. <laughs> and here is obviously, you know, one of the vines. And you can eat the garnish, obviously, the tomato. Ooh, that's delicious. Really that's simple, like really fresh. Really Traditional gin and drink. tonic, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the next one we're going to do um, is based on a, a, a fizz. So this cocktail has actually got uh, old uh, used toast or blackened toast. So it's essentially. Yay. I'm not. I'm not saying obviously the kitchen, uh, you know, goes through a lot of burnt toast, but yeah, accidents we all happen. Make mistakes. Accidents happen. <laughs> Orange vodka, okay. which we've infused with the burnt toast. So this is the fresh pink grapefruit juice that we've added in. Okay. We're going to add 15 mils of sugar or half an ounce, and this we're going to top up with soda. There we go. So there is what we have at called our breakfast fizz. Kind of weird. But really Moorish, right? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it almost feels like you're kind of. It's like, what do I do? I'm it's in a like, rush in the morning. I want marmalade on toast. I need a drink. What do I do? I know what I do. I'll put it all yeah. in a glass and it drink it. It basically tastes like marmalade on toast. It does, yeah. If you didn't tell me there was alcohol in this, it's like. Yeah. Well, cool. I, I, I won't tell you there's alcohol in it. <laughs> Finally. Bananas. S bananas, yes. Bana everyone's going bananas for bananas yeah, at the minute. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot about banana cocktails anyway. The tropical daiquiri type, type drinks, you know, they were crazy popular in the 80s. They came back again in the 90s. But this is a daiquiri, uh, essentially, but we've we've tweaked it up slightly. We're still using a light style rum. Um, banana skins, skins of fruit, obviously a byproduct um, of eating fruit. We've taken the skins of the, uh, of the bananas and we've made a, a, our own uh, alcohol. We've made our own uh, liqueur. Smells of bananas. It does. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> so this is this is soured milk that's been sweetened, but you know, essentially we're using it's yogurt. Okay. Oh yes. It's kind of remind me of banana milkshake, but like a grown-up take. Yeah, this would definitely be the grown-up version. <laughs> that is so good. It's basically like a banana milkshake slash. Daiquiri. Daiquiri, but it's not too overpowering the banana. This one I love because it's just like summer. This one is just freaking weird but really good. And yeah, this one is just like delicious. So cheers. Cheers. Thank you for doing that. No problem. <laughs>